Again, Jeremy Vine here. We are thinking about India today. This is the Indian national anthem. Which no doubt will be played at Wembley Stadium when 60,000 British Indians come to see Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India, who is on this visit to the UK, which sounded at first straightforward, but actually is rather more complicated for all kinds of reasons. Lots of protests against him by Indians who live here. One of them is Jagmeet Singh from the UK education charity Basics of Sikhi. I know you're critical, Jagmeet. I'll come to you in a second. We've also got Lord Karen Billamoria here, who is the Indian entrepreneur behind Cobra Beer. So we're going to talk to Lord Billamoria about the, the trade end of it. But Jagmeet, first of all, we heard some complaints there from the guys outside Downing, Downing Street. Would you be there protesting if you if you felt like it? Yes, yeah, certainly. I think it's very um, important to protest and let these minority voices that often get suppressed be heard. And what would you be protesting about? Well, um, Narendra Modi, he's actually been touted as, you know, the saviour of India. He, he's gone around, you know, with the likes of Mark Zuckerberg and world leaders. And he has, he's got this media machine behind him, this propaganda machine that paints him out to be, you know, something that he's actually not. Um, he's, he should be actually convicted of war crimes, of crimes against uh, humanity, like what happened in Gujarat in 2002. I mean, if he wasn't allowed to enter the UK and the US, and he literally had to become the 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 leader of our nation to actually get accepted into these countries, that should say a lot. Well, we heard the complaints about Gujarat and a thousand mainly Muslim Indians died and he was accused of essentially letting it happen. For you as a Sikh, what has he done against your community? Well, as a Sikh, if he or anybody oppresses any community, that's our responsibility to stand up against them. Um, he actually enforced an ancient law, an old law, that actually um, said that only Gujarati um, nationals or Gujarati people can ha own land in, uh, in Gujarat and actually kicked out Sikh farmers from their own land and gave it back to the Gujaratis. Um, Narendra Modi, um, he wasn't, let's say, complicit. It was a government-backed, government-sanctioned, government-organized massacre that happened in 2002, and he's actually never um, even apologized for it. As far as he went, he said, if I, was a pa in, uh, if I was a passenger in a car and the driver happened to run over a puppy, that's, how, that's as bad as I feel. Now, this is maybe over 2,000 young men, women, and children. They, they had to carry these bodies out in f dump trucks, in four dump trucks minimum. They had to carry these bodies, bodies out. And he, he wasn't convicted of that, though, was he? Well, you know what? The powers that be were actually involved in it. So you have to ask yourself, how do you convict somebody that is actually investigating himself? But what, he is the Prime Minister, he is elected. There's no alternative, is there? If the British want to deal with India, they've got to go through Mr Modi. What, what other option is there? Well, it's important that growing economic ties between India and the UK, which no doubt will be applauded during his visit, should not mask and acknowledge the darker sides of what is happening in, in India today. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, that's Jagmeet Singh from the UK education charity Basics of Sikhi. Hey, 